Yang? Yes, this is she. Hello, my name is Carrie. I'm contacting you about your recent visit with Dr. Lee. He told me he would call. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, Dr. Lee is seeing an emergency patient right now, so he asked me to fill in. Oh. Uh, great news. We got your test results and everything looks fine. Dr. Lee says to contact him again if you're still having pain. He recommends continuing your daily prescription just in case. Oh, and make sure to avoid any intense activities and keep eating healthy. Do you have any questions? No. Alrighty then. Have a nice day. Ah. Every time. I mean, how the hell do you do it? He's just lucky. It's skill. Oh, it's yeah. a skill. Yeah. Hush. That's nuts. <laughs> Let's take a break. Hey, how is Nico doing? Oh, Nico's doing great. Yeah. Uh, we hear from his mom and dad. They write us a letter about once a month, you know, because they're a couple states away. But, but they... Uh, uh, they read us and let us know what's going on, what his interests are, and, and he's he's a really good card player, it turns out. He's loaded cards really well. Um, this is his latest artwork. Oh, how sweet. Is that you with the fish? <laughs> no, couldn't be. Much too handsome. <laughs> <laughs> That's a handsome fish. Oh, uh, Marisol, I haven't heard anything about your granddaughter lately. How is she doing? How is Jessica? Well, don't be rude, Mary. What's wrong? <coughs> Thank y'all for dinner, but I need to be going. Won't you stay for dessert? You make that great chocolate cake, you. I really appreciate it, but I'm not feeling very well. <sighs> Mary, talk to me. I'm sorry. Both of y'all. Good night. Hey. Deep breath. Another. One more. Your breathing's a little shallow. And your heart rate is up. You're going to be sore for a little bit. I'd, I'd recommend some ice. Probably keep it elevated. Um, I'm not going to bring that up because I know it, it gets annoying having somebody tell you constantly what to do. Um, try it. Try to take the medication. You're not going to get better on your own. Not for you, for your family. I fail. It happens.
I don't envy your position at all. I can't force her to take the medicine. Yeah, I know. You're you're in a a weird predicament. You should help with the pain from her fall. If she can get her to take those. I'll see what I can do. Um, I let her know some ice would help as well. Of course. Thank you. If she gets worse, give me a call. Sure will. Thanks. Miss Young, you try to have a good day. Mom. This has to stop. Look at me, Mom. Do this. Do that. What am I, a child? You're acting like one. You're not going to get better if you don't listen to the people who know what's best for you. Well, what's best for me, Rachel? I don't need help. I don't need help from the doctor. I don't need help from you. I'm fine. <coughs> no, you're not fine. Well, I'm not any worse. You collapsed last night. If Rena hadn't called me, you'd still be crying for help. You know what? <clears throat> We're moving you to an assisted living facility. I've been looking at some places around here. It's not as bad as a nursing home. But if you can't take care of yourself, I'm going to find somebody who will. I'll wither away there. You know that, Rachel. And what about my granddaughter? It's not like I see her anyway. You know exactly why. I don't care. I am not some chore for you to check off your list. I'm your mother, damn it. What do you want from me, Mom? What? To just be here! You, Rachel. Mom.
sweetheart? 